Yo, what's up? So this is going to be another vlog about my second Friday Night Magic. I went 2-2 two two this time. Um, oh, that was my ridiculous. Uh, so, let's go over my matches. So round 1, I was against that same girl. Um, she had the Hazret aggro deck. First round, I, I think, or first game, I don't think I got a good start. I think I got like a weird mana base, uh, so I couldn't play like my curve. Uh, well, perfectly on curve, so that's when I really, it like really hit me that I need better uh, tap lands. <laughs> um, or m maybe I'll just unlucky, but I, I definitely understand why um, the new Dominaria lands and all that stuff is uh, why they're so expensive now is because they're pretty important. Um, but yeah, the second game, um, Aura Glory. Oh yeah, Aura Glory to her Hazret, but then she next turned. Rekindling Phoenix, and that was pretty much the writing on the wall because I didn't have any anti air. Um, so, yeah, and I already used my exile effect, and I only had one other copy, so it wasn't likely that I was going to run into it. But um, last week I was really lucky to pull out 2 1 against her. Uh, this time she definitely got the best of me. I don't know how I'm going to fight, because um, it seems like the Hazard Red Aggro is like a really, really strong deck, the, the Black Red, um, you know, the double Chain Whirlers into a, a Hazard, into the, the Phoenix is just so, so good, um, especially when I'm playing with some one toughness creatures such as Llanowar Elves and the, the, um, the Glint Sleeve Siphoner, so I'm going to have to think about some creative ways to contest that deck, but otherwise... Like Llanowar Elves and uh, Glint Sleeve Siphoner, they do really well in the other matchups. It's just against this one that's really, really painful. So, next up is, um, uh, well, <laughs> i got to write down my, f for round four, it was a dinosaur deck, but I'll, I'll get into that later. But, um, round two was Black White Vampires, um, kind of a gimmicky deck maybe, but I still lost that first game because, um, he had like six vampire tokens, and then he had a lord for plus one plus one all of his vampires. Then he had another enchantment, which also gave plus one plus one vampires. He named vampires, uh, I forgot what that card's called, but it's the four man enchantment where it gives you that plus one plus one effect to whatever creature that you name. So he named vampires, um, and I lost the first round because he's swinging in for, what, three threes? Six three threes? So. Um, that was a really tough first game, but the second and third game, the second game, the Demon of Catastrophe is really held through, um, and I used my Hash Up Oasis, um, and he had nothing, he had no answer to a flying 9-9, nine -nine. um, and I think I brought him down lower to like 8 or something, um, I don't know how, I, it was just like a regular grinding game, um, and then the last round, uh, I forgot how I won the last round, or last game in, in that one, but... I think I walked the plank to a one of his two four vampires. It was a flying vampire. It was like really good, but it just um, I think that kind of sealed the deal. Ah, I forgot. I completely forgot about that uh, because I was mainly focused on. I was thinking so much about my losses against the Grixis Control, which is that Bolas, the same guy from last week that I lost 0-2, and the same girl where I two'd one. And both of these, they seem like they're regulars at the local game store uh, that I'm going to. Um, and I saw them playing the last round, uh, round four, against each other, so I'm assuming they went 3-0, maybe, and they're fighting for the last uh, round, so I'm not totally disappointed that I'm losing to these two, um, because they're really good decks, and they're really good players as well, especially this guy, I really like his style, um, but he he doesn't have uh, Scarab Gods? I think he only has the Scorpion God. And anyways, it's still just such a beastly uh, control deck because he does board wipes. Um, so I had to find creative ways to try and, uh, you know, go against this Bolus control deck and go against this Hazard Red. Um, just the really strong decks. So I just got to find, or maybe, I don't know if I want to make another deck, but maybe I need to get those um, Jade Light Runners or Rangers, but those are really expensive, so I don't know. Uh, but... It's definitely something I'm going to be thinking about for the next week, um, as I'm just, you know, c kind of thinking of how to tweak my deck, because I know there's certain weaknesses, especially the land base. Um, another weakness is, you know, if I am going to play with one drops, it's really tough to, you know, 
choose Llanowar Elves or the Diagraph Ghouls, you know, um, because you have to choose one. I don't think they work together. Um, I think you need a full play set of one. I'm running two uh, Diagraph Ghouls and two uh, Llanowar Elves, and I don't think that's the best thing uh, for the deck. Um, and then round four was against the Dinosaur deck, um, and uh, I went 2-0 against him. But the reason why I went 2-0 is because he didn't have any removal for my Widening Constrictors, so they really got out of control. Uh, but his deck was, honestly, it was kind of gimmicky. Uh, it was a young kid, and I can see why he would want to play with dinosaurs, because there's a lot of cool dinosaurs that he can bust out. Pretty much all of his deck, all of his cards were dinosaur synergy. It was a red, white, green dinosaur deck. So, um, But he had no removal for my Binding Constrictors, and honestly, I think you know that kind of deck needs to run Lightning Strikes at least. so Or Braids or something, I don't know. Uh, but that was my results. Went 2-2. Two and two. Um... Still got two boosters, but uh, you know I'm I'm not really disappointed in losing to those uh, to Hazret Red Aggro or Black Red Aggro, however you want to call it. So yeah, I'm not totally disappointed going two two losing to um, these two players. Mm, excuse me, but you know definitely a lot of room for improvement and getting your butt whooped. It really that's the the quickest way to um, you know growing and, and progressing as a player. Uh, to go against, you know, solid challengers or challenges and uh, try and, you know, just think about, you know, solutions to to these two challenges that I'm facing, uh, you know, the red aggro and this bolus control deck where he has board wipes and, and abrades and all this crazy stuff. Um, so, got to think about some solutions to improving my deck. But uh, we're going to get into these two boosters, uh, pretty much constellation boosters because... I think you only you get two boosters just for entering. So, all right, here's Dominaria. I think that's Jaya. Give me some juicy. Let's see. So, yeah, just um, gonna improve my collection. I might do my first order from TCG player and try and uh, you know make some a little bit more. Ah. I don't know if I want to improve this deck. I think I want to move on into making my own deck, or eh, I don't know. I gotta think about it some more. All right, so get to Chronicler. Ooh, nice Syncopate. Could always use that. Benelish Honor Guard and I eh, don't think that's good. Mm, nah, just with equipment. <laughs> Rat Colony. Hey, that's kind of interesting. Make a rat deck. <laughs> I think this is a more an expensive common, I think, because people will need so many of these. Nice, Sheevan Fire. Death Bloom, Thalid. Cool, cool. Unwind. Nice. Power Stone Shard. Oh, yeah, someone at uh, Friday Night Magic tonight was rocking that. Uh, I don't know if it's Storm Artifacts or I forgot what it was. The one that has the Ether Flux Reservoir, I think. I uh, I don't know. I was watching it in motion and it was crazy. I mean, the guy, he had like so many artifacts out and just. He was going bananas, so. I forgot what cards he had. Um, just, he had a bunch of artifacts that I remember. Alright, so Ancient Animus. Only if it's legendary. Ooh. Mm, this is instant speed. Interesting, okay. Champion of the Flame. He needs a deck built around it though. He's only a 1-1. Man, he's like the perfect candidate to get two for one. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, fam, Druid. Sweet. I remember this from my friend's Dominaria deck. They use the two mana to kick stuff. On Sarah's Wings. Okay. That's actually a pretty good card, I think. Right? I don't know. And, ooh... Oh yeah, this chick, she's, um, I wonder if I can make a budget red-white wizards that, uh, Talarian Community College, he made a, a deck using all these wizards, kind of wanted to make it, maybe throw this in there, oh, sh it's a freaking mythic, oh man, <laughs> man, every time I open a boost, like, oh man, that's crazy, this is my, this is my third mythic streak in a row, opening boosters on camera, cool. Cool, cool. 
Other wizards control get plus one plus one. Yeah. Well, alright. That was um the soldier token. That was really, really awesome. That was a good good uh, dominaria pack. Alright. Okay. And then we'll finish it off with this last one right here. Oh yeah, before I get in that, check out these sweet dice. Oh yeah. Just uh some gold Golgari dice that I picked up from my local game store. Thought it was very fitting since I am rocking Golgari colors right now. Okay. And divination. Sweet. Uh, uh, blue. Nobody want, likes this card. <laughs> Oaken form. Ooh. It's a good draft card, right? I've seen this picked in draft pretty often. Pioneer, sweet. Oh man, I need to get that Tezzeret deck going. Hmm. Havoc Devil, nah. Mm, invoke the Devon, not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. If you have like a Pride Mate or whatever, a Johnny's Pride Mate. Tectonic Rift. Ooh, this one's another draft all star. Hmm. Ooh, Bone Ash. Nice, so man, I, I really need to get that blue artifacts, Tezzeret, throw in some counters. Nice, Dried Green Seeker. Man, I wonder if I should play more with this card. Yeah, interesting. Ooh, so, oh, this guy. This guy's a kind of a, um, he's kind of a tech card, yeah, remove all counters from target creature. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. This one obviously is not that good. Uh, it's more of a tech card against counter strategies. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we didn't hit too well on the M19 pack, but we hit really well on the Dominaria one. So, yeah, can't complain. All right. Well, that's just my quick Friday Night Magic uh, vlog number two. So, yeah, take it easy.